Once upon a time in my childhood, I used to watch a lot of films, a lot. It inspired me to a point where I decided to become an actor when I grew up. And then after a lot of pleading and emotionally triggering ways, I finally got the gift of a lifetime, my first ever camera. And now the kid inside me who wanted to be in films was unstoppable. But I was restricted by this term called distance. Distance between two cities, Bhopal and Mumbai. But the coolest thing about distance is that with time and age and college, you can lessen it. But I still had a long way to go. I was just a kid. So my dad said, if you can't find a director, become one. And I thought to myself, that's it. I started doing theater. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and learned VFX, editing, etc, etc, etc. The crazy dinosaurs of Jurassic Park, the heroic Spider-Man, uh, and the high power energy drive of action films had me amazed. I made wines, VFX, clips, music videos feed myself for contests and different competitions and vlogs ever since I was a kid. My first ever video that I uploaded on YouTube was not the best video that I made but Helen Keller once said we can do anything we want to do if we stick to it long enough. So I stuck to it. And then I got the first ever appreciation for my work when I made a video for a school exhibition where I created the reality of how a day would begin if we had the technology of hologram. The award motivated me even more. I wanted to be a part of films, I wanted to act, I wanted to perform, I wanted I wanted to be a superhero, spy, a gangster, a comedian, psychopath, etc, etc. Enter engineering. Go back, back, back. My aim was to go to Mumbai and pursue my dream of becoming an actor, but suddenly I was applying to colleges for engineering. So I finally found the courage to tell my family that, that that's not what I wanted to do. Cut to, I joined a college as a student of media and got to experiment. I went on to make a lot of short films, one of which even got selected at an international film festival. In my second year, I thought of doing some fun and I made a fan trailer of Shah Rukh Sir's fan movie. And I showed it to a few of my friends. Some said it's great. Some were just like, what is this? It's stupid. But I said to myself, do not back down. Believe in yourself and all will be fine. I'm so glad that I went with my gut and uploaded the video because the next day was something that I would have never expected. I woke up and my entire life had taken the most amazing turn. I found out that Shah Rukh sir himself tweeted, In that moment, I was the most alive I had ever been. It gave me the reason and motivation to just keep moving forward and working harder than ever. My parents were proud, my friends were out there celebrating me. I got the support and love of all of you for whom I am so grateful because you truly are the best. It received a lot of praise from people which was also obviously accompanied with a little hate. But as someone rightly said, don't let the hate slow you down. The rush, the drive, the energy to just keep going. And now I was trying things that I would not have thought of. I anchored for live events, performed live for the first time where I recited a few of my poems and shairies. <laughs> Interviewed my all-time favorite director, Imtiaz Ali. Got a chance to work on Imtiaz Ali's Jab Hari Mait Sejal, which changed my life once again when I finally met Shah Rukh Khan. And then a year later, when my college got over, it all changed. I was working at a desk job, traveling in the local, sitting 9 to 5 at the same place, going for a job to plan out how to leave the job. And when I had saved enough to survive, I quit. I was free, I was happy, I was bound to no time, no salary, no excel sheets, but just me and my films. Finally, a time I had been waiting for. Ever since then, I have invested all my time in making short films and most recently, a web series. <laughs> People kept telling me that you won't be able to make a whole web series without any budget. But let me tell you the most important ingredient of success of any sort. If you have a few good friends and the love and the support of people who believe in you, then anything is possible. Anything. So here I am working on the season 2 of my web series. You know, when people ask me who I am and, and, and what am I doing, I just say to them, I'm somebody who will do anything and everything to be near cinema. And as my Instagram bio reads, passionate about films and quality cinema. 
hopes of making it big at life and cinema one day i don't know how far i have come but i know my dream still has a long way to go giving audition is a part of my life that i enjoy very much it's a great way to learn and explore my own abilities i still try and take one small step each day towards coming a little closer to to a life that i have always dreamt of a life where i'm surrounded by films a life where one day i am a part of films